Windows 10 is the operating system Microsoft needs. In other words, it's not Windows 8, a Frankenstein's monster of a tablet plus desktop operating system that alienated everyone from PC manufacturers to corporate users. Instead, Windows 10 is an incremental improvement on Windows 7, one that is faster, slicker, and has some new bells and whistles, like virtual desktops and functional tablet support. Apple and Google may have ignited the trend of collecting increasing amounts of their customers' information, but with Windows 10, Microsoft has officially joined that race. By default, Windows 10 gives itself the right to pass loads of your data to Microsoft's servers, use your bandwidth for Microsoft's own purposes, and profile your Windows usage. Despite the accolades Microsoft has earned for finally doing its job, Windows 10 is currently a privacy morass in dire need of reform. Microsoft had ambitious goals with the launch of Windows 10, a billion devices running the software by the end of 2018. Also, one of Windows 10's leaps, unfortunately, is straight into your personal data. In its quest to reach that goal, the company aggressively pushed Windows 10 on its users and went so far as to offer free upgrades for a whole year. However, the company's strategy for user adoption has trampled on essential aspects of modern computing, user choice and privacy. That is simply wrong. If one dives into the privacy policy, the hairs on your neck will stand on end. For example, this entry, Microsoft will access, disclose and preserve personal data, including your content, such as the content of your emails, other private communications or files in private folders, when we have a good faith belief that doing so is necessary. More on that in a moment. You do not need to search long to come across stories of people who are horrified and amazed at just how far Microsoft has gone in order to increase Windows 10's install base and the information it obtains. There are also some real concerns that current and future users of Windows 10 should be aware of. As the company has currently rolled out its anniversary updates to Windows 10, we think it's an appropriate time to focus on and examine the company's strategy behind deploying Windows 10. Disregarding user choice. The tactics Microsoft employed to get users of earlier versions of Windows to upgrade to Windows 10 went from annoying to downright malicious. Here are some highlights. Microsoft installed an app in users' system trays advertising the free upgrade to Windows 10. The app couldn't be easily hidden or removed, but some enterprising users figured out a way. Then, the company kept changing the app and bundling it into various security patches, creating a cat-and-mouse game to uninstall it. Eventually, Microsoft started pushing Windows 10 via its Windows Update system. It started off by pre-selecting the download for users and downloading it on their machines. Not satisfied, the company eventually made Windows 10 a recommended update so users receiving critical security updates were now also downloading an entirely new operating system onto their machines without their knowledge. That is definitely a scum move. Unfortunately, it doesn't end there. Microsoft even rolled in the Windows 10 AD as part of an Internet Explorer security patch. Suffice to say, this is not the standard when it comes to security updates, and isn't how most users expect them to work. When installing security updates, users expect to patch their existing operating system, and not see an advertisement or find out that they have downloaded an entirely new operating system in the process. In May 2016, in an action designed in a way we think was highly deceptive, Microsoft actually changed the expected behavior of a dialogue window, a user interface element that's been around and acted the same way since the birth of the modern desktop. Specifically, when prompted with a Windows 10 update, 
If the user chose to decline it by hitting the X in the upper right hand corner, Microsoft interpreted that as consent to download Windows 10. That is an astonishing maneuver. Time after time, with each update, Microsoft chose to employ questionable tactics to cause users to download a piece of software that many didn't want. What users actually wanted didn't seem to matter. In an extreme case, members of a wildlife conservation group in the African jungle felt that the automatic download of Windows 10 on a limited bandwidth connection could have endangered their lives if a forced upgrade had begun during a mission. Disregarding user privacy. The trouble with Windows 10 doesn't end with forcing users to download the operating system. Windows 10 sends an unprecedented amount of usage data back to Microsoft, particularly if users opt in to personalize the software using the OS Assistant called Cortana. Here's a non-exhaustive list of data sent back, location data, text input, voice input, touch input, web pages you visit, and telemetry data regarding your general usage of your computer, including which programs you run and for how long. While we understand that many users find features like Cortana useful, and that such features would be difficult, though not necessarily impossible, to implement in a way that doesn't send data back to the cloud, the fact remains that many users would much prefer not to use these features in exchange for maintaining their privacy. And while users can disable some of these settings, it is not a guarantee that your computer will stop talking to Microsoft's servers. A significant issue is the telemetry data the company receives. While Microsoft insists that it aggregates and anonymizes this data, it hasn't explained just how it does so. Microsoft also won't say how long this data is retained, instead providing only general timeframes. Worse yet, unless you're an enterprise user, no matter what, you have to share at least some of this telemetry data with Microsoft and there's no way to opt out of it. Microsoft has tried to explain this lack of choice by saying that Windows updates won't function properly on copies of the operating system with telemetry reporting turned to its lowest level. In other words, Microsoft is claiming that giving ordinary users more privacy by letting them turn telemetry reporting down to its lowest level would risk their security since they would no longer get security updates One, Notably, this is not something many articles about Windows 10 have touched on. But this is a false choice that is entirely of Microsoft's own creation. There's no good reason why the types of data Microsoft collects at each telemetry level couldn't be adjusted so that even at the lowest level of telemetry collection, users could still benefit from Windows Update and secure their machines from vulnerabilities, without having to send back things like app usage data or unique IDs like an IMI number. And if this wasn't bad enough, Microsoft's questionable upgrade tactics of bundling Windows 10 into various levels of security updates have also managed to lower users' trust in the necessity of security updates. Sadly, this has led some people to forego security updates entirely, meaning that there are users whose machines are at risk of being attacked. There's no doubt that Windows 10 has some great security improvements over previous versions of the operating system. But it's a shame that Microsoft made users choose between having privacy and security. The way forward. Microsoft should come clean with its user community. The company needs to acknowledge its missteps and offer real, meaningful opt-outs to the users who want them, preferably in a single unified screen. It also needs to be straightforward in separating security updates from operating system upgrades going forward, and not try to bypass user choice and privacy expectations. Otherwise it will face backlash in the form of individual lawsuits, state attorney general investigations, and government investigations. What can be done to combat Microsoft and protect our privacy? There are programs available that work incredibly well. 
In fact, SpyBot developer Safer Networking has released SpyBot Anti-Beacon, a portable free tool which makes it easy to disable a host of Windows 10 tracking technologies. Just launching the program displays the current status of 10 problem areas telemetry hosts slash services slash group policy consumer experience improvement program group policy slash scheduled tasks application impact telemetry steps recorder Wi-Fi sense apps use advertising ID and peer-to-peer -peer Windows updates disabling everything is as simple as hitting the immunize button and if that gets you into trouble then an undo option restores your original settings. Unfortunately, there's no detail on what you're disabling, and no way to toggle individual settings. It is strictly all or nothing. The only detailed control you get is under the optional tab, where you are able to tweak any or all of four features, web search group policy. Cortana Group Policy, OneDrive Service and Remote Registry Service. SpyBot Anti-Beacon is an extremely simple way to turn off Windows 10's core telemetry settings, and if you're an expert and know exactly what you're doing, that just might be good enough. But if you'd like to have more control, and occasionally need reminding of what these settings actually do, we have another option by the name of O and O Shut Up 10. Oh and Oh Shut Up 10 is a portable privacy tool that also provides you with full control over which functions in Windows 10 you choose to use and how far data gets shared. The power of privacy is right at your fingertips. Choose which unwanted functions you wish to deactivate. You will be able to select from almost 50 options to tailor your Windows 10 experience to your own privacy comfort level. The program does offer to create a system restore point, which is advised when tinkering around, just in case you want to undo what you have tweaked, or ended a broken mess, as well as an option to restore Windows 10's default privacy settings. Both options are highly recommended to protect you and your data. Alright folks. I would like to hear about your experiences with Windows 10, your thoughts on Microsoft's data collection policies, and the measures you have taken to combat them. Post down below with the details and let's discuss this. If you would simply like to chat, that sounds great as well. No matter what, I would like to hear from you considering what is going on in the world, with you, and whatever else is on your mind. Make certain to like subscribe and please share this video also if you like the social media thing you can link to us via the standard allotted social sites in the description talk to you soon